Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. So I decided to do a mug video today, which turned into three mug videos because there's so many mugs that are bolos. You got your bread and butter mugs, you've got your $100 bug, bugs, $100 mugs, and then you got your big, huge, major money mugs. So this one is mugs that sold for a hundred dollars so definitely be on the lookout for these mugs and we are going to get started with our first mug all right fire king is a great great thing to look for brand um let me show you the bottom of the cup here now these range you guys they can be bread and butter they can be like big bunny or they can just kind of be, what is it that Mountain Man Treasure says? Does he say meat and potatoes? I can't remember what he said. He said something. But anyhow, you know what I'm saying. They range. Fire King definitely ranges. So look it up if you see Fire King. These four uh, ovenware coffee mugs went for $100. They only had one bid, but that's all you need, right? Um yeah, Vintage Fire King. There you have it. Buyer paid shipping on that one. I don't know what. They're calling it Delphite Blue. It's a really, I think it's a really pretty color. I like this color. It's kind of like a grayish blue color. So I will be on the lookout for those. They're very pretty. The next item is this Starbucks. Man, I can't talk tonight. I apologize. Starbucks Egypt coffee mug. This one is brand new in the box. Um, well, it's a partial box. Uh, yeah, so some of the Starbucks mugs can still go for big money. Some are bread and butter again. Some are, you know, the $100 range. And then there's some that go for a lot. So if you see a Starbucks mug and it is like a dollar, just buy it because you're going to make your money back. If it's $50, definitely look it up because don't buy every Starbucks mug thinking you're going to make huge money because some of them are just bread and butter. All right, this one's interesting. It's an EAPG US Glass Company Green Petit Cross Mug. So I've never seen anything like that, like that or like this, whatever you want to say. I should say like this. Um, that is why I'm sharing it with you guys because if I would have seen this, I would have, number one, had no clue it was worth this kind of money. I do, however, wish that they had more photos. Sometimes sellers uh, use like a secondary um, listing tool. And then when they take it off of that, whatever they use to cross post it onto here, it deletes the other photos except for the first one. So maybe that's what happened here. Or maybe they just used one photo. But I always like to look at the bottoms and see how they know like the branding so that I know what to look for. So I'm sorry, I can't show that to you guys. But this one sold for $101.77, 10 bids in the buyer paid shipping. All right, Death Wish. Um, these range from bread and butter to thousands of dollars. Um, now they're, you'll see, go watch my, I don't know which one I'm gonna post first, but. I have a big money bolo video for coffee mugs that have sold between $500 and $2,000 that I am either posting or have already posted um, that tells like what to look for for the big money ones. But this is, they're just crazy. But this one went for $95. Uh, so look them up if you see them. I'm surprised this one didn't go for more because it has the Halloween um, on the side, the pumpkin like skull and uh, the jack-o'-lantern and like the skeleton. So it's kind of got that Halloween theme and everybody knows that Halloween like items do really well. But Saratoga Coffee Traders, Death Wish Coffee Company, I don't know, $95. But it's not a fluky thing like the Death Wish coffee mugs sell for good money. So definitely be on the lookout. All right, Mr. Donut, another fire king. So this is milk glass. This is what milk glass looks like. It has a pretty distinct look to it. Again, no picture of the bottom. Darn. Um,
the $1 with 14 bids in the buyer paid shipping. All right, these are Funny Face Drink Pillsbury mugs, and I believe they're plastic. It's a promotional set. It is complete. It's from 1982. These are super, super cute. Uh, people collect them. This one sold for $99.99 with one bid and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this rare applause 1989 Warner Brothers Tasmanian Devil Mug made in Indonesia. This is what the bottom says. And I have seen others. Look, you can see his reflection. I hate when that happens. I hate it. Like I'm very cautious and conscious of this. And when I see my reflection, I try to uh, find a way to make it not show up. But anyhow, this one sold for $101 with six bids and the buyer paid shipping. And I did see others that went for a decent amount of money. But again, always look things up just in case you maybe have a different model or maybe they're not selling for as much at the time. Because, you know, supply and demand, if there's five of these listed, you're not going to make as much, you know. Holly Hobby. Um, these are milk glass also. Again, you can see it's got that white milky look to it. Holly Hobby is collectible. Um, they probably should have took that Coke can out of the back, but that's okay. Eight bids sold for $105 and the buyer paid shipping. Here's another one. This one's a Fire King also. It's got Snoopy on it. And again, I'm not sure why these sellers are not <clears throat> including a picture of the bottom. <clears throat> mm, I'm so sorry. This one sold for $103.49 with 14 bids plus shipping. All right, this one's kind of funny. It's a rare vintage Steve Crane tongue out tiki mug. Tiki mugs. Tiki mugs, tiki mugs, tiki mugs. They can be bread and butter all the way up to $800, $900. I mean, they just have such a range. So definitely look up Tiki Mugs if you see them. If they're rare and different and you can get them for a good deal, you're probably going to do okay. Um, but yeah, definitely be on the lookout for Tiki Mugs. This one um, surprised me a little bit. It's a 1981 Budweiser Holiday Stein. I guess I didn't realize that these steins had much value. So this one sold for $102.50. It only had four bids. Um, and the person had one feedback. So maybe it's a collector or maybe they didn't pay. Let's see. Uh, it should be easy to figure out. Mug. We'll just put mug in. And... Yay, ye we married, wanted for nostalgia. But that says $15. Hmm. Let's look. Nope, that's a different mug. So maybe they didn't leave feedback. So yeah, see this one went for 15 and the other one went for 100 So it's just hard to say. Um, but different things have different values. So again, definitely look it up. Yeah, because that, I mean, it, they just all look so similar to me. Let's do this. Um, Budweiser Stein Mug. And if you guys like this type of video, please hit that thumbs up. I'm going to go to Solds. And I'm going to go to highest first. That might be, is that it? Maybe backwards? So maybe this one's just, yeah, because see, that looks like it. Maybe that one's just collectible. It must be special. All right. Yep. See, 102, 102. And those that are different pictures, so that's a different seller. Looks like the same mug. All right, cool. We verified that one. All right, Antique Phillips Andover Academy Beer School Mug. And again, oh, that's the bottom. Just has a 12 on the bottom. Sold for $102.50 with five bids. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Wedgwood Inglid 
miniature Jasperware loving cup. And it is, it's tiny. Look how little it is, you guys. It's teeny tiny. And it sold for $113.50, nine bids, buyer paid shipping. All right, this is a vintage Disney World Mickey Mouse Epcot World Showcase mug, United Kingdom glass. Anything Disney, always, always, always look up. If you can get it cheap, just buy it because it's going to be bread and butter no matter what. But this one sold for $107.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Ketchum Originals John Wayne coffee, coffee mug. Again, the John Wayne mugs can range from bread and butter up to big money and then a lot of in the middles. So I thought, I, I wonder if that's just like printed onto the mug. I don't think it's actually signed. It probably, let's see. Doesn't say. Huh, you guys watch the big money video and you'll see why I'm questioning this right now. So. It's definitely interesting. Those John Wayne mugs, they're crazy. All right, this one is Kenner Goonie Bird Coffee Mug. Commerant, commer, commer, oh, I can't, it's another word I can't say. Commemorative. I can't say it. Ah, oh, geez. 1990s unused mint made in China, it says on the bottom. I don't know why this is so special. Um, Senior Vice Pres President, I, I'm still confused. Let's see what it says down here. As a former Kenner employee myself, I am selling this on behalf of a coworker and still personal friend. This person was a Kenner and Har Har Hasbro senior executive in both marketing. I includes a business card with per person's name and title. So it's just a, a rare cup. I guess, I don't know, but it sold for $107.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, Royal Doughton Toby Mug, the Falconer, and it's got that number on it. So you can see there it says the Falconer and then D6798. So you can pretty much type that information into eBay and see what it pulls up. This one sold for $117.50 with eight bids and free shipping. And these do range also from bread and butter up to, you know, bigger money bolos. This Old Bunny's Waffle Shops restaurant advertising restaurant wear coffee mug. Um, I can't tell if that's a J or a T. Jepco, Tepco, USA, China. I'm guessing it's the advertising on this one that helped bring the value up. It sold for $112.50 with 14 bids and the buyer paid shipping. It's got the bunny on the side and says waffle shops. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. The next item is this Hobbs Victorian Glass Rubina Verde Thumbprint Mug Punch Cup. Kind of interesting. Never seen anything like it. It's very pretty. I don't know that I would have saw that and thought, oh, that's worth $100, but it sold for $111.49 with nine bids and the buyer paid shipping. And it's very cute. And the last item are these two Ember temperature control ceramic mugs. I think these are more of a current item that you would probably have to retail arbitrage. I see a lot of them on eBay and they all go for decent money. So this is for a lot of two and they sold for $106 with three bids and the buyer paid shipping. All right, we are back. A little bit of a delay tonight. I don't know, I heard since everybody's kind of quarantined in their homes that uh, the internet is slower. They're slowing down the internet. I don't know if that's true. So if there's a little feedback or robotic sound or pixelating or I don't know any of that stuff. I apologize, um, but it is what it is. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that 
Thanks for watching.